having this Milwaukee 5 amp M18 battery and it's experienced a bit of a fall or something that's been badly damaged. They hit the top's damaged, these two lugs are broke off. The board is hanging off, there was a broken connection. The actual connector pins are all damaged. And these two end cells were well down in voltage. They were down to zero where the rest of them was about four volts. But I've remedied that, I've brought them up. I brought them up above four now. I brought them up to the same level as the rest and I've checked overall voltage of the 20.6 so I've brought the battery up to a good high voltage that's, that's a fully charged voltage but this board has got to go and here's the one I'm going to use to replace it first step is to get the old one off Working with the battery is a very, very sensitive thing. This looks fairly harmless sitting here, uh, but this is actually a fully charged thing full of a lot of power. And you want to be careful crossing connections and all sorts of things that can cause you problems. You just have to have the respect for it that it deserves. It is, it is actually something that is contained a lot of energy and mishandling it can be dangerous. A lot's made of lithium ion explosions and things and all sorts of things that can happen. And they're not without it's not without truth to be honest. Because nothing my own is dangerous to work with. However, the rusks are very real and very dangerous. I think the probability of it happening is not as high as people would lead you to believe. Because lithium fires and lithium explosions are so bad. I think people forget to tell you that it doesn't happen often, but when it does happen, it's not nice. It's far from nice.
Four bars, that's looking pretty good. Spares box to the rescue again. This is a second hand top that'll do the business for us. Let's get our screw together now. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'm calling that fixed.